Hi, I'm Lindsay. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. So this is a follow-up of the home birth video that I posted um, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week or so ago. But I wanted to get on and talk about my birth experience. So if you haven't watched the home birth video, I'm going to put the link down below in the description box. So you can watch it there. You can watch it before or after it. Whatever you want to do, your prerogative. So the reason why I chose a home birth, first and foremost, if you would have told me um, ever that I would have had an unmedicated home water birth, I would tell you the devil a lie and the truth ain't in you. Um, yeah, that's not something I ever strive for or desire. My other two kids were born in the hospital and the first one I was induced with and the second one, um, or both, I had epidural. So the second one came, you know, on her own. And I went five out of seven hours unmedicated, but um, when that pain got the hidden and I didn't know what else to do, I was like, hey, give me epidural. So, yeah, I didn't decide until 31 weeks that I wanted a natural birth or I wanted to strive for a natural birth. Trust me, medication or some form of pain relief was always on the table for me. But at 31 weeks, my husband and I um, interviewed a doula and we decided to hire a doula to help us achieve our goal of, or more specifically my goal of an unmedicated natural birth. So, um, yeah, when coronavirus got to the United States and they started reporting that hospitals were only allowing one birth partner and some hospitals aren't allowing any birth partners. Um, my team, which is my doula, my husband and I decided to um, strive for a home birth. So my doula contacted um, the midwife here and at first she wasn't available because she is on, on vacation for the months of March, April, and May. But because of COVID-19, she decided to offer her services. And I decided at just 36 weeks that I was going to have a home birth. And actually I was back and forth um, from 36 weeks to, uh, <laughs> I had until I had my baby, actually. Um, depending on the time, I may or may not get into that, but, I will go ahead and say that even though an at-home natural birth, um, water birth, was not something I ever dreamed of, it was one of the most remarkable, amazing experiences in my life. And I'm glad I had that experience. It was, out of all three births, it was the best one. Um, yeah. So... I have been trying many different things to go into labor. I have a video about that as well, and I will include that down below in the description box. But I tried quite a few things. I tried castor oil. I tried um, everything that's here. You try raspberry leaf tea. I tried um, prenatal yoga, squat six, pineapple about every acupuncture, about everything um, they have online under make yourself go into labor naturally, I try and I don't owe anybody an explanation, but the reason why is because at the time we were supposed to be moving shortly after I gave birth, so I was trying to give myself and my baby as much recovery time as possible before moving. But anyway, so the night before I went into labor, I actually did this video called Activate a Labor and I will include that link below in the description box as well. And it's just a video about six to ten minutes of exercises and I did those exercises and I think I finished up my pineapple and my husband and I had six. So about two o'clock that morning um, 
well I was I was up pretty late at night so I probably did the video at about 11 at 6 or 12 and about 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning I had contractions that I could not sleep through well the contractions actually started immediately but I went to sleep and I couldn't sleep through them anymore about 3 30 so I got up and went into the living room um, me and my dog because my dog was a trooper she stayed there with me the entire time and I was laboring I was um, trying to get some naps in between contractions um, while listening to the hypno birthing um, album on iTunes I was on my birthing ball I was doing different yoga positions so that's how I started off at about 5 30 I couldn't um, take much more so I woke my husband up and I told him I think this is it because I'm feeling nauseous with these contractions and they're getting pretty close together and they're not stopping before I had had some um false labor for probably about the past two weeks I had contractions coming and staying two to four hours but then they would um, fizzle out so about six o'clock I, um, yeah, about six o'clock, I called my midwife, and, or not my midwife, I called my doula first, and I let her know, like, hey, I'm having these contractions, this is how many minutes they're apart, they've been having since 2 30 in the morning, um, and then she stopped me right there, and was like, Lindsay, it is six o'clock, and you've been having them since 2 30, and you're just not calling me. <laughs> Like, I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to call you and they feel a lot like they normally do So I wanted to make sure this was it and She gave me instructions to go outside and start walking and when I was having contractions to lean on my husband and sway my hips So as soon as I got the phone with her I called my midwife and let her know what was going on and my midwife was like, okay, I'm tracking and um she told me that my doula would call her when it's time for her, her to come over and she was you know preparing everything so I then got in the shower my husband and I got in the shower um mind you he wanted to you know be up with me when I first started having the dress set to 30 but I sent him back to bed because one, I didn't know if it was a real thing. Two, I'm like, if it is a real thing, one of us needs some sleep because you would be no good to me if you're tired. So I sent him back to bed. But anyway, I don't think I added that before, so I wanted to add that really quick. So we got in the shower because I read that you should take a shower so your baby can smell your natural scent with nothing added. And I probably had on perfume and lotion or whatever. So I decided to shower and just feeling the hot water from the shower on my back and doing pelvic press were it was amazing like it made the contractions a lot better so we did that and then we immediately got dressed and went outside and started walking we left our children asleep upstairs because they were asleep so I'm like they're not bothering anybody but um we did I have a six year old and five year old we did wake them up um my husband got them dressed and my cousin who's stationed here as well came and picked them up and they went to his house so good thing their bags were already packed in at their house so you know we didn't have to worry about that part um i guess at that point my doula came and you can you know from the video we did a lot of different techniques to help through um labor like doing lunges on the stairs skipping a step um, a lot of swing up the hips some yoga poses all of that is on the video so one thing i did not include on the video was after i had gotten the water for about 20 minutes I got in the water for about 20 minutes if that I got hot. They put the fan on me, but that wasn't doing it. And I asked to get out. So I got out of the water and I laid in my bed so my midwife could check me. And at that point I was about a nine, which mind you, I was an eight when I first got in the water. So I was at a nine and my cervix was being stubborn and didn't really want to move anymore. So what was happening was my water had not broken and so I 
um, my doula and I asked that my water be broken so we could go ahead and get this baby out. So apparently my bag was wrapped so tight around her head like this she couldn't break penetrate the bag to break me up. I mean to break <laughs> she couldn't penetrate the bag to break my water. So um she was unable to break my water but as you can see from the birthing video that I pushed my water broke and then the next push or two my baby came out like it was fast <laughs> I was watching a video the other day on um, a birthing page that I um, follow on Facebook and the lady was pushing her baby out like it was nice and slow with contractions and you were seeing with each push the head appear and then you know it was just a nice slow process I'm like yeah no mine didn't go that way I, I pushed and my baby shot right <laughs> she was like grab your baby and she shot out so fast that well I think I'll let my husband take over from here <laughs> since this is his side of the story but before he comes I will say that um, I was saying that she couldn't break my water so she was starting to check the baby's heart rate and what was happening was with each contraction her heart rate was dropping so at that point my midwife was trying to decide and it was my midwife and she had an assistant she was here as well but she was trying to decide whether to transfer me to the hospital or not because it's pretty dangerous for the baby's heart rate to drop like that so before um making that decision she decided to turn me over onto my left side with my hips elevated and she monitored my um baby's heart rate during contractions there and um it had gotten a lot better just from me getting off of my back and I assume that had a lot to do with oxygen flow. Um, I've read that oxygen flow isn't the best for the baby when you're laying on your back, so you shouldn't spend much time on your back during, during pregnancy. So I assume that was the reason why. But anyway, um, at that point, I decided to get back into the pool, and that's when the video picked up for the delivery right there. But. Let me grab my husband and I'll let him tell his side of the story. <laughs> okay, why were you putting on gloves? That was a question one of my um what was it? Oh, um, Honestly, I don't know why I was putting on gloves. I was putting on gloves because um the dude said, Hey, go put on some gloves. I in that time I really wasn't thinking. So I just went and put on the gloves. Because you wanted to catch the baby. Because I wanted to catch the baby, obviously, yeah. But to put on gloves to catch the baby, did I really have to? No, but why did I? Because the dude said, hey, it's time to put on gloves. I was like, oh, yeah, it's time to put on gloves. So that was our original so. birth plan. And our original birth plan, it said father wants to, father will catch the baby. So he put on gloves. I'm not supposed to be talking to you. Are you put on gloves? And what happened while you were putting on your gloves? And while I was putting on my gloves, um, I was walking over to the table, putting on the gloves, and I just heard push. And, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I got a few minutes. I got at least 15 minutes to go. And uh, so I started putting my gloves anyway, nice and slowly, putting them on, to, well, trying to get them on, not really slowly. Uh, but then I heard, okay, Lindsay, grab your baby. And at that moment, I just kind of froze. I was like, wait, I was supposed to catch the baby. What do you mean grab a baby? And I turn around and the baby's hanging out and uh, you grabbing the baby. And so at that point, I kind of just, ran back over because I was kind of shocked that it all had happened without me stay, without me being in a position ready to go but uh, nonetheless she caught the baby so yeah and really she didn't even have to tell me to grab my baby that was my instinct like hey get the baby from under the water so I just grabbed her up but that was that was an amazing moment it was a light bulb or not necessarily light bulb but it was like oh my god I just did this I felt like superwoman in the moment because I don't know it's something that I didn't think I could do really especially after having two um, births with the assistance of medication so it was just like oh my god and even when you watch the video afterwards I kept saying oh you know oh my god or because I just was in um, amazed I was 
amazed and in disbelief, I guess. Yeah, I was pretty shocked. <laughs> it just it, it all happened way faster than I expected it to happen. And way smoother. The whole operation was from A to Z was pretty smooth. Yeah, that's what I said um, before I went and got you. That out of three the three births, like this was the most you know, it was the best one. Yeah. I think so. It was the best experience. I think, um, from my perspective, uh, a lot of times, you know, when you go to the hospital, the, you know, the, the traditional way, or I guess the the American way, is you know, you just go to the hospital, you you sit there, you take a nap, you wake up, she's laboring, she gets an epidural or whatever pain meds and, uh, or whatever other horm hormones she might need to kind of help her uh, push, but. Um, and it's just kind of hands off, so it's kind of cold and sterile experience. But this experience was more, in my opinion, intimate. So we kind of labored, we labored together. I didn't feel the pains, but you know, I was there for her, and um, you know, got told to shut up two times, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a shoe or anything thrown at me, so I guess I guess it was good. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I felt like this experience was more intimate and I felt like I was more involved and we were more connected during this experience. So uh, all in all, if I, we had to do it again, I would definitely go for the home birth. It was definitely Daddy. worth it. Yeah, baby. So yeah, it was a more um, intimate and hands-on experience, definitely. Because... It was sometimes when I didn't want anyone to touch me, including the doula. <laughs> and my husband, I'm like, okay, you know, not right now, don't touch me. And then it was moments where I'm like, okay, come here, I need you, you know. And it, it helped, it, it really did. Cause at one point I was laying in the bed and a contraction hit me and I just said, I gotta get up and I jumped up out of the bed and grabbed him. And my midwife said, I've never seen a pregnant lady contracting jump up that fast. She said it kind of scared her because <laughs> that wasn't normal, you know, for her to see. But my body's natural response to the pain was move around. So I couldn't just lay there. And it was even one point when she was listening to the baby's um, heartbeat. When her heartbeat was dropping, I pushed her hand away because I just didn't want to be touched. So you just have to listen to your body. And, you know, listen to your body and do what works for you in the moment, especially if you are planning um, a natural or even home birth, because quite a few of you have told me you're planning on doing so. So that's all I can say is listen, listen to your body. And I wanted to end on this note. We both said that um, being at home afterwards was amazing oh yeah there was no one coming in the room afterwards I'm like oh i'm here from lab yeah. or wake up and feed your baby or it was just we even left our kids um with our cousins for the night so we could you know bond with the baby because she was born at 2 p.m and um we were just able to lay in the bed skin to skin with our baby while the doula and midwife and midwife's assistant got everything cleaned up, got the table put back because we had baby in the kitchen. Um, I had some soup that I made prior to that was frozen and they had, you know, soup to eat and made sure I had something to eat. And um, they left us about, what, four, a little after four? Yeah, I think four thirty. About, about around four, yeah. Yeah, and they left us, and we were just, you know, in the bed, skin to skin, bonding with our baby, and it was just great being at home. Stress free, I think. Yeah, that. So the post birth, uh, you know, everything we talked about right now was pretty much leading up to the birth, and you just kind of discussed the post birth. From my perspective, the post birth, um, it was very stress free. It was very stress free. Uh, normally, you know, you. I got to go home to let the dogs out or I got to call somebody to let the dogs out mm -hmm. or you got to, I don't know, there's things that you worry about when you're in the hospital that, you know, things that you have to do at home or, um, and or just to move? get home. Yeah, they move, they move usually to, move another move room. to another room. From but labor and labor to a regular room. Just to get home after a birth is kind of, it's stressful, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you got to get the car seat, you got to get the car and all that kind of stuff. But not, we had to do none of that. You know, we laid in the bed after the birth. 
and uh, we slept. The baby slept. The baby nursed. Mm -hmm. uh, we ate whatever we, you know, whatever we felt like we wanted to eat. But for the most part, it was just stress free. We just we didn't have to worry about getting home. We didn't have to worry about uh, bags. None of that stuff. So, you know. Yeah, it was her first time in the car today, and she's almost three weeks old. And yeah. if she didn't get out anywhere, of course, but we were stir crazy and wanted to just ride with him while he picked up something at the store. Yeah. So. <laughs> so she, it was her first car ride today. First car ride. Yeah. <laughs> she did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, guess anything else? I don't know. Okay. I think this is long enough and I don't like long videos. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you want to follow me on social media, my handles are on this in card that's about to pop up or check the description box. Until next time.